What am I talking about? A reliable tool to make sure your content is original, meaning it's plagiarism free, it's fact checked, it's human written, and it's not AI generated. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about originality.ai and right off the bat, this is for your business, especially for content agency owners, which is very good for a number of things. I'm not saying that you can use it for other purposes, but this here is my own use case. If you need to manage a big team and verify large volumes of content, this tool will do the job. So what is it? Well, it's AI checker, plagiarism checker, and fact checker. When you make yourself an account, this is how it's gonna look like inside. This is gonna be your dashboard. And here on the left, you've got this menu, and the first button is of course for the dashboard, and then you've got content scanner, and here you can right away start a new scan. Down there, you've got a few settings, such as your subscription plans, account details, and of course there's affiliate program, which you can take a look at as well. And of course, you can do it directly from the dashboard. Detect AI content, just click on it, and all you gotta do is to paste the text inside of this box. I'm gonna do a comparison with Winston as well. I've checked this one with Grammarly, but I'll just do it with Winston as well, just to show you how good this is. But let's just take certain examples. Let's actually use ChatGPT. Let's get an article from here. So I'll go with write me a paragraph about why reading books is important. And of course, you are gonna get a certain style from ChatGPT. I'll just copy this and I'll paste it right here inside of this box. And all you gotta do is to click the button. But of course, I forgot to mention that the minimum scan is 100 words. So I'll just ask ChatGPT to expand this a little bit more. And then of course, ChatGPT is gonna give you a little bit more so we can do the scan. There you go. Now, all you gotta do is to click on the scan button here. There it is. And of course, now you just have to wait a bit. It's pretty fast. That's one of the reasons why I love it as well. And there you have it as of course, just like we assumed, this is 100% AI and it's the truth. Now, there's a little thing here, which I really love. As soon as you get some of these results, they will give you this customer support chat window and then if you think this may be a false positive you can get in touch and they will solve all your problems by the way that button is always going to be here the customer support button now if you want to include fact check readability or grammar you just have to click these buttons here right and after that as well just click on the scan button once more and it's going to check the facts and the readability now how to read this here as you can see whichever lines were highlighted in dark red it's likely AI. And highlighting dark green, it's gonna be likely original, right? So here you have color-based solution for you to see whether the text is AI or not. And of course, if you'd like to change anything inside of this text, just click here on the edit mode. And now you can write, delete, whatever, just like your Word document. Now, you can do this in bulk, you can do this in batch, and especially if you have a content marketing agency or if you just run something through that, maybe you're just working for someone on YouTube, and if you want your facts and AI detection checked, this is the right tool for it. But of course, as well, if you're running a blog, let's say, readability score is really, really important for you because, well, Google has to be your friend, right? So readability checker is something that you might want to get for yourself. If you run a blog, that is, or if you run blogs for others, right? Essentially, you can drop service originality AI, so you can just make money with it for yourself. If you get yourself this pro enterprise or maybe pay as you go plan, and then you drop service this to other people. You can use freelance platforms, you can do it on your own, with your own marketing, whatever. You just have to know that you've got monthly and annual versions as well, so you can choose. The annual is gonna be $12.95 for the pro plan, and this one pay as you go is gonna be good for some people. You get 3,000 credits for $30. This is one-time payment, and you buy it as you need it, right? But for more work, for batch work, for drop servicing, I would always recommend getting pro or enterprise plan, and it's just gonna make your life a lot easier. Now, one more really interesting thing. If you're a writer, you've got a tool for this to help you tell other people to prove that your work is not AI generated. This is something that it's called false positives, right? And with this tool, you can prove false positives are wrong. There's a Google Chrome extension, which is really, really good. You can prove to other people that you actually wrote the article yourself because there's a feature called watch a writer write. So there's one more use case for it. Now for the last thing that I wanted to show you, I took just some text from the website from the originality.ai website. 
and actually turned out to be, you know, likely original, as I would have thought. But I did the same thing with Winston AI, and here it is 99%, so it's actually the same maybe. But have a look at this. If you head over to the plans that Winston AI has, it's just way more expensive, right? And it doesn't have all of those features that we've talked about. It doesn't have Google Chrome extension for writers, and it's a bit more messier. And also for originality, just like it says here, this is not for your paperwork, right? This is for writers, for agencies, and for publishers, blog owners. The link is going to be down there. You can visit them on your own as well. Check it out. See if it's for you or not. And yeah, wish you good luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.